I'm Eric Ovin, aka Professor. I'm the founder of Electronics, a company that deals in designing smart systems, software systems, IoT, and many more. So in my hands, I have a device that I've designed to help combat uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I call it CoveScan 19. You can also call it Docas, meaning doctor's assistant. So when uh, during the lockdown when the soldiers were put out there i was wondering how do they even detect the people that they were interacting with how did, are they able to know that uh, this person has the infection because there were a lot of uh, videos where the soldiers have to be holding people lashing people and all that so i thought of it that what if i can give them something they can use to detect at least give them some amount of Know, knowledge on who has the disease or who doesn't have. Most of the temperature, infrared based temperature sensors, they are just one spot. They pick one, uh, one point temperature and that's it. Okay. So, in case the region is being affected by a lot of noise, okay, a lot of background noise, then it's very difficult knowing or estimating the actual temperature. But this system doesn't pick just one temperature spot, it picks 64 at a point and times 10 of that within one second. So, if there is any perturbation or fluctuation in temperature, it is easy to detect that. So, uh, the system works on a Bluetooth, it communicates via Bluetooth with the app okay so i'm going to turn i'll push this button to turn on the system so now if i accept to scan the environment it says scan environment completed now it is transmitting it to the app okay so once it is done you can see that the app is now demonstrating or showing the heat uh, sources okay now this heat sources there is a legend down here for instance this color represents a, a new temperature so it represents for instance this color represents 29.25 degrees celsius this is about 30 so each cell would give you the temperature that it corresponds to Okay, so with all this functionality, it, it still doesn't cost that much. I spent not more than 300 cities making this prototype. But then, if I am to create this for commercial purpose, I can shrink it and do everything on one board. So maybe it may increase just a bit, but then, in general, this device doesn't cost much to reproduce. Another thing is that this system can scan more than one person at a time. Okay, so if I fix it in a room, for instance, then whoever falls within the range can be measured. The temperature of the person can be measured. And it's irrespective of the fact that the person is moving or not. The temperature can be measured. So just imagine our airports, okay? We mount this on a, on a robotic arm that can move in all the three dimensions. Then this system can be working like a heat-seeking missile scanning on its own okay and the moment it detects any abnormal temperature or temperature anomalies it can now signal whoever is in charge that there is something and whoever it will, it will actually focus or zero in on that person and be uh, following that person who has that abnormal temperature so it will be easy for the authorities to detect uh, whoever is having that abnormal temperature okay and it can also be used you see um, one of the things that most medical situations have is temperature changes. Ebola had the same thing, SARS. So even after COVID, this system will still be useful to the medical professionals because they can use it for temperature-related uh, works in their clinics or hospitals. You can use it to monitor particular temp uh, patients and then set some alarm system. So maybe if uh, the temperature of the patient hits 38 degrees Celsius. The, the doctor should be alerted. All these things can be done with the system. And another interesting thing is this device is programmable and at every point in time, the firmware can be changed to do anything that you want. So far as it is within the specifications of the hardware. And best of it all is that it was designed in Ghana.